So talking about the technical side of things, um, we're shooting on Canon cameras um, and we're shooting tethered to um, to laptops and we have a big screen um, and we're using Capture One software. So every image that we capture is coming up on screen for the client to see and sometimes for the talent to see as well. And so in a studio scenario, uh, we're using strobe lighting, flash lighting, mainly Profoto. Um, we're using a lot of different attachments, um, uh, particularly the Profoto Beauty Dish and we use some soft lighters which come from America called Fotec that I really love. They have a lovely soft light, but a silvery kind of light to it. So we're often using those soft lighters. Um, and then when we're outside, we're, we're shooting a lot more in daylight. So often it's a question of pulling out the cable out the camera and running outside and then maybe just working with a simple reflector outside. So we're kind of used to adapting and moving and changing and um, always trying to keep the lighting as interesting as possible. Maybe we're adding a bit of blue gel into an extra light just to give it a bit of strange feel or I'm really loving turquoise gel at the moment. So I'm using a bit of that and just adding it in to add a bit of mystery and just to make things a, a little bit more interesting. There's also new technology coming out the whole time. We've been using some really good new LEDs LED lights which are um, don't get hot and you can get them really near to the subject and uh, yeah exciting to be trying out new kit like that but generally speaking we're using full-on strobe Profoto flash in the studio and then often um, either battery packs or um, or just daylight and working with daylight outside just sometimes with nothing no no light control at all just them outside and moving around and uh, that can work really nicely as well.